Well, hey everybody, this is Kelly at Envy Soap Works. Thank you so much for stopping by to make some soap with me. I am extremely happy um, to be able to make soap right now. Um, it's been about two weeks since I've been able to um, make any soap, so <laughs> that seems like a really long time when you're um, used to making it weekly. Two weeks, I've just been missing it so much. Um, but I will say that I have had more ideas over this last week that I haven't been able to soap. Um, and luckily I was smart enough to write them all down. So I have quite a few ideas um, that I want to try out. So that was pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and get my um, clay and goat milk dispersed in the oils. <laughs> and I'm just gonna go straight in with my lye here. Now I'm soaping, oh, you know what? There's actually, it looks to be like lye lint. There's a big chunk of lint looking stuff. There it goes. I don't know if you guys could see that, but I sure can. So I really don't know if that has any effect on the soap, um, but you can see it here in the strainer. It's just kind of like, it's kind of like jelly-like. So it's kind of nasty. I don't know if that does anything in the soap or if it would just blend up, but I normally don't take my chances when it comes to that stuff. All right. So I don't know if I said this already. I'm soaping about room temperature. So I'm going to be using a fragrance called Asian Plum. It is um, wholesale supplies plus fragrance it smells really really nice it's very different um, I don't know how to describe it but I'll go ahead and put a description um, in the video when I edit it so you guys can see what the notes are because I don't remember off the top of my head I do know that it has a very tiny, tiny, tiny bit of vanillin. I think like 0.3%. Um, so I don't think it should discolor at all. Um, let me go ahead and show you the colors that I'm going to be doing for this. So I'm going to have a bit of a um, kind of medium dark mossy green. I'm going to have, <clears throat> excuse me, a uh, violet color. This is that violent neon that is super bright. I love it. It's um, from Micah's and More. This is the cosmetic purple from Micah's and More. And then their majestic purple. It's a very um, extremely dark purple. It almost looks black when you mix it in uh, the soap. And then also I have this. It's kind of like a pinkish orange kind of I kind of wanted like a pinky peach so we'll see um, how that goes I'm not quite sure if I'm going to use that or not we'll see um, when I start mixing up how I feel about that so let me just check here my batter and see if we are fully emulsified looks good to me So what I plan on doing, I'm going to do this in the tall skinny mold, and I think I'm going to tilt the mold for the bottom layer and get a good, um, get a good slanted layer of the green color, and then um, just do a kind of, kind of like a drop swirl kind of like layering, I guess you would call it for um, the rest of the portion. We'll see. We'll see how um, the soap behaves once I have the fragrance in. If it is, um, if it accelerates, then I'll probably end up um, doing something totally different than that plan. But we will find out as we go along here.
want my green to be a little bit thicker than um, the other one, so I'm going to blend it in with the stick. Okay, so these are the colors that we have got mixed up here. Now for my fragrance, I really, mm, it smells really good. It smells really good. I don't know um, what to expect with this fragrance. There wasn't too, too many um, reviews, so I'm going to start here with the green. And it's ricing. Oh, it's ricing really bad actually it's super duper ricing so I need to get my stick blender in here because it is gonna be a problem Alright, so I think we have everything pretty pretty well taken care of. Everything is a little bit thick, but you know what? Not as bad as I was originally thinking. I will still um, be able to kind of do... Well, actually, it is getting really thick. So, let me quick and do what I wanted to do. Okay, so I'm going to be working with my tall skinny here. And, sorry if you just heard my dog bark. There are people doing fireworks right now and she is not a fan of that at all. She doesn't do well with the fireworks. Let me just use this towel. Let's see if you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, so I think that is as good as I'll be able to do for as far as um, for you guys to be able to see. So what I'm going to do here is go in with my green and I want it down here in the um, corner. And it is extremely thick here, but that's what I wanted for this bottom portion so that suits me just fine suits me just fine I wanted a good a good layer I probably could have gotten a little bit more green I don't think I'm gonna have enough for the effect that I was wanting as far as this thing. we'll see
what I'm going to do with the rest here, since it was so thick, I had a different plan, um, but since, like I said, since it has thickened up this much, my plan is not going to work. So I'm just going to do an in-the-pot swirl with um, the rest of this here, and I'm just going to kind of throw it in there, here and there. I'm going to leave this for the top. Let's see, I might put a little bit more of this. Pretty colors. I do like the colors of that. And then I have this really dark purple one. I forgot about that. It was kind of in the back. Let's get that in. It's a plopper. I really have to get it down in there. Now this is so dark I don't want a whole lot of it left for um, the top. I really don't. So okay. So this is what I have, all my colors in, I'm just going to go in here, go around, just like that. And that's what it looks like, very pretty colors, I think I'm going to like this. Now I really do wish that I had more green, um, I think that's really going to mess up um, the the vision that I had for this soap, I wanted the whole corner of the bottom to be green at a slant and then have kind of like a swirl, but um, I don't think that's going to happen. So let's just go ahead and pour this in. Pretty colors. like those a lot. That is cool. Really cool. Let me get this off the slant. I don't need it up like this anymore. And let me bang it down also. So I just noticed that um, I wasn't recording. So I really have no idea when this um, cut off. Um, if you guys saw anything, I have no idea. Um, <laughs> so that is such a bummer. But I am just going to do a very simple kind of textured swirly top like this. I like the look of that very much. And that is... Um, the finished Asian plum. So I will bring you guys back for the cutting tomorrow. See you in a sec. Bye. Hey everybody, we're back to go ahead and cut this soap that I made last night. This was the Asian plum and I'm really happy with um, the way the soap looks. I think um, the top is very beautiful. The colors are absolutely stunning. Um, my only regret about this is um, wishing that I would have had a whole lot more green. Um, I actually think it's going to look kind of funny with just the little tiny corner of green that I had there. I wanted it to be um, a lot more, you know, like almost half. So that um, might look a little strange when I cut it. But for the most part, I think this is going to be pretty. 
So I'm going to go ahead and get this up here and we will see what we have. Now, the fragrance of this one is, it changed a lot in the soap and it is extremely, extremely floral. It's really floral. It almost reminds me of kind of like the hydrangea type um, fragrances. Oh, how pretty. How cute. I do like it. Um, oh, yay, and I can see the gold uh, mica line that I did in there slightly. So that's, that's cute and different. But like I said, I do wish that I would have more of the green, but that's okay. But, um, so yeah, it's very, very floral. And it is a strong one. It's a nice, it's a nice smell. But people who are not fans of um, the floral ones will probably not, this wouldn't be a favorite. <clears throat> so I do like the colors here. Um, almost every single color in this soap was um, from Micahs and More. And I am finding that I just absolutely love um, their colorants. Seems like every time I have a major complaint about another um, colorant, it is just more and more obvious that um, I need to just stick with the ones that never morph or change or do anything unexpected. Um, ooh, this is neat. I, I like the line. I should have done more mica lines in this one. That's cool. Um, I just have so, so much micas from companies all over, and I'm trying to kind of use up what I have. So I'm going to be using, um, other micas for quite a while until I, um, get them all used up, but eventually I'm going to phase out and just stick to maybe like one or two companies. I, I do like this soap. I think it is pretty interesting. I like the pattern that I got with the uh, in the pot swirl. This did rise and it accelerated, so it got really thick. So I kind of had to alter my plan as far as the pour I wanted to do. So, um, ooh, I really like the top, that peach and the purple together, very pretty. Um, I had to alter my plan, so the soap didn't end up exactly like I wanted, but. I do like um, the way that it did end up looking. I think it's really, uh, really pretty. So, <clears throat> I love this very um, bright violet neon. That is one of my favorites. I could tell that I'm gonna, that's one that I'm gonna use a lot in my, in my soap. I really wish, like I said, this green, this tiny little green corner, it just kind of doesn't make sense really. <laughs> um, it would be a lot better if I had a little bit incorporated up here. I just, I honestly, I did not plan that out very well. And I just really didn't leave myself, um, didn't give myself much green. So, you know, that's okay. I am actually still um, very happy with the way this turned out. I think it is really pretty. I do like the colors. I do enjoy the scent, even though um, it turned to a mostly floral um, smelling soap. I, I enjoy the florals. So this is it for Asian Plum. This was an interesting one to do, testing that fragrance. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for subscribing and I will see you next time. Bye!